Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Assassin mod here once again. Today, we're going to be checking out Death, who looks very simple, but there is not really a character like this in the game or in any mod that I played yet. 30% attack speed down, 5% damage for every negative 3% attack speed that you have, and 3% attack speed down at the end of the wave. So basically, we're going to be attacking really slow at a base, but doing a lot of damage. So I am going to go with the Sickle, even though, you know, it scales off of what? Melee, Harvesting, Harvesting Modifications up. It's an interesting combo for death, but visually it looks about right. I don't know. It seems like the weapon to use. So basically we're going to be attacking very, very slowly, doing tons of damage. It's just as simple as that. But managing our stats is going to be, I think, really tough. Figuring out, I don't know, should I get a little bit more attack speed or, you know, fill in the blank? So this is also a support weapon. And it is a scythe, which gives us 20% damage and minus 15% attack speed, which this character likes. We, we like losing that stat. Oh my god, we're already doing 69% damage up. <laughs> this is not one of the characters that has the uh, the resprite mod. That's why I didn't mention it at the beginning. Didn't want to, didn't want to confuse. But this is a new character added to the mod. Um, I love how it's it's extra large. It's kind of funny. Uh, but so we've got a harvesting scaling weapon as death. Like we played probably three characters that have some form of the um, Grim Reaper motif. You have to stack the harvesting. But none have been quite like this one. Okay, so let's get some experience up, range down. Experience gain up when you have a harvesting build is super good. Oh my god, this is already doing 18 damage. But it's doing 18 damage every 1.32 seconds. The good news is it looks like it's a pretty fast weapon at the start. Harvesting, but wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Harvesting modifications are up by 4%? Excuse me? The Grim Reaper's just gonna chill out and start a farm. 4% increase? It's... <laughs> so we have the 5% at a base, and then 4, 8, 12, 16, 24. It's gonna go up to 29% increase every wave? Or wait. Harvesting modifications are increased by that. So, currently we have 43. Let's see how much that goes up, because it might just be the stat. It went up to 46. Okay. So... Yeah, that, that checks out as just being a 5% increase. So this... I kind of like this, though. It's a, it's a different take on it. Go for it. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to take attack speed right now. More harvest thing. It actually does increase our stat modification up, though. So when we are buying... God, it's taking everything in me to not grab coffee. When we are buying stats, it'll get increased by that. Which only catches me off guard because I have never seen a mod put something like that on a weapon. Which I'm asking myself, why? It's a clever idea. Is this overpowered? I don't know. It's less overpowered now that I know it's um, just the stat modification up. I thought it was uh, increased by 20. It's going to be increasing by 29% at the end of every wave, which it obviously did not do. I would say it's going to be strong, but maybe not overpowered. But I don't know. As it gets scaling, if it scales off of more than 15% of our harvest thing, it is going to get quite filthy quite fast. I could grab that, but we're going to want HP regen as our healing stat. Fine. Doing it. Because we're obviously not going to be attacking very fast. 0.5 damage down for 8 harvest thing. Our damage still goes up. <laughs> it still, still gets to be an increase. I don't even care about bait. We really just want to increase our... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It goes from 15 to 20. 
and the harvesting modifications go up to 9%. We want a tunnel vision scythe upgrades. That's what we want to do. This is going to be an even farmier character than the farmer. That being said, we are... I don't know. We're, we're getting really strong. I think we'll be good at killing bosses. If I get a horde wave and I don't do anything about it yet, we're going to have problems, maybe. 115% damage up. This character is also kind of begging to be used with um, luck damage or basically anything that does an extra source of damage that's not from just our attacks. I don't know, like a like an alien eyes, like uh, any of those food items. Because those don't care that you have low attack speed. They don't even care a little bit. Grab some armor. Sure. Just trying to stack it as much as possible. It sounds silly. Oh, okay. What does it go up to? 14%. You wild son of a gun. Let's get some luck. Because if we can get um, crown early, which, you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't think that this character is going to be scaling on... Um, or there, we're, it's not going to be tagged for harvesting, rather. 73 damage, 146 damage this character is. I don't know that it's really the character, though. It's half the character. We have 60% attack speed down and 100% damage up as a result. Truth be told, that might sound out of whack. I don't think it necessarily is. I think it's the weapon. I think 100% uh, damage up is really, 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 really good, especially if we start to abuse alternative sources of damage. But I need to express that 60% attack speed down is, is a lot. Like, that is a lot. God dang it. I, I got screwed over. Uh, Give me some max HP. Vigilante ring, I suppose, is going to be a good idea. Cute monkeys, it's too good to say no to. Baby elephant, let's grab it. Let's get a little bit of the luck stuff online. We have 151 harvesting already. Get rid of that garbage. There we go. 106 damage. How many seconds between attack? Every 1.24. It's really not even that bad. It's a pretty fast weapon to begin with, so we're not getting penalized that hard. Four damage from Baby Elephant. That being said, like, we are absurdly strong. We do absurd amounts of damage. I could, and I don't laugh, I could see this being a harder run than normal. Just, attack speed is a big deal. It always has been. Spreading that damage out is has always been the name of the game in Brotato. Like, it's great to have lots of damage, but if it's doing 100 damage to an enemy that has 10 health, that does you're just you're doing 10 damage. Truthfully, you're you're doing about 10 damage. Oh my god, Peacock is going to be great if we can handle it. I'll grab this. I'll grab that. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. It makes no sense to even bother about any uh, melee damage scaling at this point. It's, like, not even close to caring. 25%. Okay, these guys are going to die real fast. It's basically going to feel like a rock run is the thing. But better because this comes with a stupid amount of stats. Like, what? Plus... Yeah, plus 14 harvesting? What's gonna be at the, at the top? Plus 20? I need more... I need more healing. Arguably, I should probably grab a little bit of attack speed as well. I know it's gonna technically reduce my damage, but... I think at this point, we have enough percentage damage up. We need to get tankier, get more health, etc., etc. I think we've already kickstarted a pretty stupid amount of harvesting for the run. <laughs> okay, let's grab a little bit. 
I know, I know, I know. Luck harvesting. Minus attack speed, good. Minus crit chance, sure, why not? Go grab cake. But yeah, uh, bowler hat becomes even better. This wave will be a little bit awkward. How much damage are we doing with this? 13? 13 with baby elephant. Potentially up to 26 if we hit them with both. Okay. Yeah, we get a little bit of luck, then we are going to go very, very far. And you know what? It kind of feels fitting with death in a way. Like, just enemies are just going to vanish. They're going to blink out of existence. Pay no mind to the fact that it's a baby elephant that's causing it. Because we're going to get all of the benefits of the massive, massive damage up with none of the penalties of the attack speed if we go that way. Not to mention luck and harvesting go well together, especially, like, luck, harvesting, um, experience gain. It's the trifecta. We're gonna get so many level ups, they're gonna have such high tier stuff in them. It's just gonna be dumb. Okay, I will take that. Say no, no. HP regen sounds great. I saw some harvesting, but eh. Get some luck. Missile is great. I'll take a wheelbarrow. Oh, frog sounds nice. I guess I could get piggy bank. Sure. Sure. It's more luck. This is doing... Th now this is doing 32 all of a sudden. Just like that, it jumped up to 32. 64 if both of the elephants hit the same target. All right. Yep. 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 This got online. It's really freeing to not only not really want to get attack speed, a stat that I truly think is kind of a must in almost every scenario in Brotato. Not only should I not get it, it's kind of in my favor to take the opposite. I like that. I really like it when modded characters, busted or otherwise, typically, I hope for balance. Uh, again, which this character probably is. The character probably is. The weapon I don't is not. Um, I just like it when they make you look at stats differently. And this run definitely does that. Nope. HP regen sounds great. I'll grab some armor. Grab the sickle. Maybe I'll look for one thing here. I don't know. We'll, we'll want to just stack luck at this point because if I could find the crown soon, we're going to get stupid. And we're going to get stupid fast. Oh boy. I mean, I think that there, you know, there's a reason why there's not a harvesting scaling damage weapon in base Brotato. I'm going to say it's very fun that there is one in mods. But uh, I don't know. It, it, it always... It rewards the play style that... It, oh my god. Is balanced around the fact that you have to trade damage for it. Like... You have to constantly be trading actual value for harvesting. So whenever you give a weapon a harvesting damage scaling stat, like, oh baby. I think that the way you could get around it would be have a weapon that scales like 80% off of melee and like at best 5% off of harvesting. You know, so it's like you get rewarded for it, but you can't build around it as the main. I'm going to pass on that. Five harvesting at this point doesn't matter. I'll take eight. What's my crit chance? <laughs> Negative. Okay, well, wait. This has 27% crit chance at a base? I guess I will take it then. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Who will take that? How much luck? 55. And how much damage here? 36. Not, a, not a incredible. Oh my god, look at those swings. Look at them swings on that guy. Oh, chunked. 
absolutely chunked. Getting something like, uh, I think we want Snail, Wandering Bot. Just things that help us with the enemies that do make it into my s sort of inner perimeter. Okay. Chunking it. Chunking it. Yeah, this does. This feels like an early rock run, is what this feels like. Way back when. Just like moving in with a slow, big bwop. And basically being a rock yourself as well. Okay. I could. I don't want to. Uh, 15 luck for 47 bucks is worth it. Wisdom, I don't care. Get the armor. I think an epic harvesting, sure. Range is already minus. Eh, it's fine. Trick shot sniper. Alien eyes, good. I, I'll take insanity. You know what I want. You know what I want. I want the crown. Rip and tear, truthfully, is also good. Cyberball. I feel like I passed some cyberballs. All right, I, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. All right. So what does this give me at max? So it goes from 25 up to 30. Harvesting modifications up by 20%. So, harvesting modifications will be up by 120% if you have all legendary. That being said, Devil's Advocate, Grim Reaper's Advocate, when you have all legendaries, you probably don't care about harvesting stat gain that much anymore. You're probably at a point in a run where it's irrelevant, right? I would, I would say. I would also say that we are on wave 13 and we are soon going to be very soon going to be hitting the, um, oh God, don't be dumb. I was just kind of walking in circles because it doesn't really matter. Uh, very soon you'll be hitting the guaranteed level 25. It might even happen right here. Actually, now that I think about it from the harvesting game at 24 level 25, you get guaranteed legendary upgrades. Yep. There it is. 10 melee, 5 elemental. I could, I just, who cares? What do I want? Why did I not take the luck? There's crown. Alright, now I just want to be stupid. You, you, where are you going? Every five years when I swing, you are going to be screwed, dude. What are those alien eyes doing? How much? 200? They can crit. Pretty funny. Surely they don't have very high crit. Is this an assassin weapon? No. So I saw there was that modded thing where it's like plus 15 damage to assassin weapons. We don't have that. Ooh, boy. Hold on, just get to full health. Just get to full health so we can get all the free HP up. Good. Alrighty. Except for that, somebody at the door. We got... I mean, this does still scale on melee. It just... It's not going to really make a difference. 2 HP regen, 8% damage down. 3% speed. I guess so. Sure. Honestly, I'll fix the range up at this point. That sounds good. I'll take a tractor. Sure. Uh, sickle upgrade. Sickle. Sunglasses. Sure, we have the harvest thing. Max HP minus dodge. Why not? And then we have the... I mean, we have the piggy bank. I kind of just want to buy stuff, though. Sue me. Ooh. Ooh. What a dumb thing this is. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go buy stuff. I think I just... 
Could I get more money in the bank? Yeah, but I think that having that value earlier is just more fun. Yes, I could I could spend a good old 15, 20 minutes in the shop on wave 19. I could totally do that. I don't have too much interest in that idea or that angle. So, yeah, I think that I wouldn't mind some HP regen. I think that'd be good. I think, you know, a, um, a tentacle has potential here. I don't think our luck things can crit, though. So all in all, it's like, it's a weird crit run. Like, I yeah, 157, I doubt that's really even doing that much for us. Sure, fine, whatever. Armor. HP regen. Let's just do it. Just do it. More harvesting, less armor. Experience gain, less life steal. I mean, at this point, it reduces the amount of stats you need to level. I could do this to slowly dig myself out of the dodge pit. That sounds like a why not. Oops, nope, I don't want attack speed. Remember, don't want attack speed. Don't need life steal either. There's pretty much no way in hell it's going to be valuable. Uh, health, HP, rich. I know it's minus luck as well, but sure. There we go. We'll fix it out. Wait, we don't want that. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay, okay. So we want minus dodge now. I have changed my my ways. Actively, okay. Actively seeking minus dodge whenever I can find it. Final take of your barrow. Eh. All right. Yeah, that's more fun. It's more fun that we get to do that. So, we, because this is going to reduce my attack speed. The thing is, is it worth it? No, because my range is now in the absolute gutter, but it doesn't matter because it's just kind of funny. When are we ever going to be able to say, ooh, I need to get my, if I get my dodge down to negative 100, then I'm actually cracked. It, when in, There's never been a run like that that I've had, so it just sounds fun. So sue me. We're at a thousand harvest thing. Checks out, checks out, checks out. Thanks, Satan. Womp. Am I going to one-shot the boss? Probably not. But I am going to be doing so much damage by then. I am excited by it. Okay. Whew. Oh, dumb. Oh, dumb. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll get more luck. More crit could be fine. Let's just get more luck. Eh. It's all fine. I just... There we go. That's dodge down. That's attack speed up. Silver bullet. Yes. I'd like some range up. Sure, that's also damage up, kind of. Coupon, it doesn't matter. Four HP regen, I mean, sure. Another alloy, great find for us. It's so dumb. All right, where are you? Goodbye. Yeah, we're not killing the final boss in one hit. That's just... A build that could do that is exceptionally stupid. Though we do scale, our damage is going to be scaling exponentially because our harvesting scales exponentially. So, I don't know. At this point, buying a harvesting, like harvesting stat makes no sense. It, it doesn't do anything for us, really. It's barely going to make it. It's, we're at, 1400 so buying like 10 more isn't really going to change the outcome that much okay oh maybe 
What would be fun is if I got more... I know it's harvesting downgrade, but more rip and tear. That's just a win-win. Great. Looking for, I guess, luck. Eh, armor. Range, fixing that sounds nice. HP regen, sure. I guess so. Yes. More cute monkey. Sickles maxed out. Spicy sauce is another extra source of damage. At this point, who cares? Pickup range is irrelevant now. Tentacle. I have I have crit. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that because it's <laughs> just because it almost pays for itself there. Alright, whatever. Even sacred sausage. I know what I said. Could be fine because just our percentage damage up is so good. 5,000. Harvesting at 2,000. Baby elephant is just killing things randomly for us as we just stand still and absorb stuff. 138 from the baby elephant. All right. <laughs> yep. This sure is... This is one of those runs at this point. It's just made extra strange by the fact that we attack so slow, you know? It's kind of funny. It just puts extra weight to each hit, though, when... <laughs> When we just, whoop, delete one person from the face of the earth. Goodbye. Uh, for 14, that probably is worth it. That, too. More luck, more damage. I mean, more damage, more damage, too, but... But, whatever. Really? That's a pretty cool shop. Uh, good. I mean, doesn't matter at this point. Wouldn't even move the needle anyway. I mean, sure. Sure. Yes, minus dodge, experience gain. It actually could make a difference, which is crazy, just because of the nature of this run. It's hilarious that it could make a difference. Oh my god, Dangerous Bunny is actually still cheaper. <laughs> uh, crit chance down. Nah, we don't need pickup range. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Screw it. Can do that as well, but... Now we really don't need to move. Like, we haven't needed to move at all, but now we really, really don't need to move. We did 60, 6,900 damage. All right. Don't worry. If, if you hit me, it doesn't even matter. I gotta say, this is not what I was expecting when I saw this character, but it's because I... I will say it is kind of what I was expecting when I saw this weapon, though. Because it started out strong. But then again, it's... Oh, boy. It's a doozy. I can't deny I love a good harvesting scaling weapon as much as the next guy. But, boy, you can see why... Why it's not in the official game and why it's something you just have fun with in mods. <laughs> Though, this is not that far from what you can do with just, um, yeah. Yeah. With just, uh, like, base farmer. Or glutton. Another baby elephant. Missile good. No point anymore. Cyberball good. What finds those were? Acid good. Sure. Sure. 
doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. More trees. I don't care. Bandana does kind of help with um, whatever the hell. What am I trying to think? Alienize. Sorry, this run is just so dumb. <laughs> it's just so dumb. Another baby with ele baby with an elephant. Crit chance modifications increased by 25%. Great. Now we we're crit capped. Just like that. All right, where are you? Come here. Um? There's a world where we one shot. Oh my lord. Alas, alas. That is that. That's going to do it here for today for Brotato. My goodness. Sickle. It, it's, it, you know, hey. It's, it's wild. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. If you want to check out the mod for yourself, there's a link at the top of the description. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.